Hi, Bayside Kids. It is so good to be with you again. My name is Oli Olson, and I am here to tell you another parable of Jesus. A parable is a story Jesus told to teach us about the kingdom of heaven. This parable is called the rich fool. Jesus told us this parable to show us how important it is to share what God has given to us with others. Let's start. The rich fool. Luke chapter 12, verses 16 through 21. A long time ago, in a land far away, there lived a rich man who did nothing all day but to think and to worry, to hope and to plan some way of becoming a wealthier man. From his house to his fields each day he would walk to look at his crops, every leaf, every stalk. Then he'd climb to the top of his great storage bin where he kept all his grain, and he'd sit there and grin. He watched as his slaves labored hard in the sun to put grain in the bin loading ton after ton. As he carefully counted the loads as they came, he would think of his riches, his wealth, and his fame. A few hungry birds in the skies overhead saw the big bin of grain and downward they sped. Oh, how happy they were, for at last they could eat. They landed and started to dine on the wheat. But when the rich man saw them eating his grain, he screamed and he kicked and he waved his big cane. You can't have what's mine. Get away from my bin or I'll hit you so hard your heads will all spin. He swung with such force that he fell from his ladder right into the bin, and this made him madder. With all of his wriggling and squirming around, some of the grain poured out to the ground. My grain, oh my grain, he snorted and sputtered. It can't be wasted, it can't, he muttered. And then, in a frenzy, he looked all about just to see how much of his grain had spilled out. A poor man had started to pick up the wheat, for his wife and six children had nothing to eat. Stop it, you thief, cried the rich man alarmed, and the poor man went running for fear he'd be harmed. The rich man saw all of the wheat that was spilt. A new place for grain would have to be built. I'll tear down the old one, he said gleefully, and make bigger bins, how grand they will be. His slaves worked hard, his slaves worked long to make the new bins big and strong. The master from his platform high surveyed their work with watchful eye. And when the job was finally done, the night had come, gone was the sun. He hurried home all full of pride, as full as the bins with his grain inside. He went to his room and he looked in the mirror. He talked to himself and he saw a good hearer. I really am a remarkable guy. My riches will last till the day I die. I'll wear fine clothes that are made of gold thread with gems on my belt, on my hands, on my head. I'll eat and I'll drink and I'll dance and be gay and plan bigger things the rest of the day. With a yawn and a stretch, he turned to his bed. I'll think of my future tomorrow, he said. Then looking once more at each wonderful bin, he drew up the covers and tucked himself in. The lamps on the bin showed down through the night to warn the rich man if thieves came in sight. His treasure of grain was part of his plan to be each day a much richer man. Some day, he said, I'll start anew and live as God would like me to. But first things first, myself I'll please and live my life in wealth and ease. But that very night, he died in his sleep, with no one to mourn him and no one to weep. This man had been selfish with all of his wheat. He had offered no grain for the hungry to eat. How silly the rich, greedy man was, you say? Yes, he was silly, and right to this day, because he was selfish and heartless and cruel, he's not called the rich man. He's called the rich fool. So that's our story. I don't want to be like the rich fool, do you? I hope not. It is so much nicer and more fun to share. Well, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>